and he will be jumping center for the Aggies. San Jose State will be moving from left to right, attacking the bucket to our right, and Utah State from right to left. And we're about ready to get underway. Is the conference season underway? Is the opening tip-off one back into the right by Jalen Moore for the Aggies to Shane Rector. Rector surveying as he takes it to the right side and hands it off to Perkins. Perkins to Rector, bounce pass to Evans at the free throw line, tries the up fake against Frank Rogers, slides his way underneath the basket. And it's called for a three-second violation. Thought he was going to be called for the travel there as he seemed to have lose, lost his footing. But a three-second violation, and the Spartans will have the basketball now. As we'll see what the Utah State defense starts out with. It looks like a man so far. And it is Isaac Thornton bouncing it up top between the circles to Frank Rogers and underneath inside the key. And turning against his man was Princeton Anwas, and a foul will be called against Utah State. That'll go against Smith and the first-team foul. So Spartans will inbound under the baseline. Under the basket, baseline left. Trigger man, Isaac Thornton, bounce pass right into Ryan Wellich, who gets swatted from behind. Beautifully done by Chris Smith, who timed that one. Ryan Wellich just kind of wanted to go right up at the basket, and he neglected to look at Chris Smith, who blocked that ball away. So it's first minute of play, no score yet. A touch pass down low to Jalen Moore's double team under the basket, right underneath, and he reverse lays it down. That's a nice move by Jalen Moore under the basket to get some room on the delay. So Princeton Anwaz goes left side, up fake from Cody Schwartz on the wing, guarded closely by Perkins. Into the corner more for Anwaz. Trying enough to contest him was the defender Evans. Now Anwaz down the right side of the lane. He can't get his shot up and down. And in transition out come the Aggies. They throw a lob for Jalen Moore and throws it down with two hands. Well, that was well-timed, and Jalen Moore can do that. He can jump out the building. Now a steal. Swatting the ball away was Rector, and stealing it right back was Isaac Thornton. Thornton brings it down the floor, accelerating, stopping at the elbow, leaves his feet, tried to get a pass away to Frank Rogers, who collects it, fires away from 10 feet, and knocks it down the jumper. That was kind of a loose ball, just a, a scramble to get anything. Frank Rogers composed himself to get that mid-range jumper down. So it's a 4-2 start for the Aggies. And they take it on a crossover. Perkins leaves his feet, fires into the corner, catch and shoot, three, high arc or short. Long rebound out to Wellich. Wellich to Thornton. Thornton looking as he brings it down the far side. Scoop pass back to Wellich. Thought about the three, puts it on the floor, leaves his feet. Runner won't go, tipped up into the air and grabbed by Cody Schwartz. Fresh shot clock for the Spartans. As collecting the ball was Anwas. Boy, what anticipation. Rector almost stole another one away from Isaac Thornton. Thornton takes it on a crossover and exchanges with Schwartz asking for a screen, waiting with the ball above his head, and he fires up top between the circles for Anwaz. Anwaz looking, bounce pass for Rogers, trying to post up, drives in, angles off the glass, it won't go, and rebounded by Lou Evans. Out in transition, Aggies one to three, instead they toss it down low, now they cycle it back up top for a three ball straight on by Evans, no good, rebound Rogers. That's where the Aggies are real dangerous in transition. They'll hit a lot of those trailing threes or get some movement to allow for that three ball shot. And that was exactly the case there. Four to two Aggie lead, 17-14 remaining in the first and a, a post up move from Isaac Thornton who banks one off the glass and down with a right hand. Isaac Thornton getting the first shot of his night to go down and it's a tie game at four. Smith on the angle left side. They'll rotate it right side, catching with his left hand as Perkins fires away for a contested three and knocks it down. Darius Perkins has really flourished more as a scorer after he was moved out of that point guard position. On the elbow left side, trying to turn to his right. Frank Rogers was fouled, getting a shot away. And that's the second team foul for the Aggies. And it goes against Lou Evans, his first personal. On comes Jalen James for the Spartans, their first substitution of the evening. Isaac Thornton comes out. Non-shooting foul, so the Spartans will inbound baseline left. Jalen James looking to inbound. He gets it into Schwartz, catch and shoot three from the right side corner, and he knocks it down. Cody Schwartz, he didn't take much time to get that ball free either, and Cody Schwartz last three games entering this one. He was 11 of 21 from beyond the arc, and had that one on as his first three-point shot of the game. Up fake, putting it on the floor and trying to reverse one down was Lou Evans. Couldn't get it to fall out in transition. The Spartans come, accelerating down the lane is Princeton Onwaz. Gets right to the rim, tries to lay it in. It would not go, and then it was tipped out of play by the Spartans. I believe Jalen James got a piece of that one. The Spartans are missing some real, real good looks underneath the basket. Not hitting their lay-ins. 
course, it seems like the Aggies have done that a couple of times as well to start off the game. Perkins lobs for more, touch pass back outside, catch and shoot three from Rector straight on. It's good. Shane Rector hitting his first three-point basket. That's just his sixth made three this year. Anwa spins a pass to the left block, trying to post up. He's double teamed as Rogers scoops it back outside for another three from Cody Schwartz halfway down. It rims out. Rebound, Aggies. Aggies to the near sideline. Rector leaves it back for more up fake. Trying to stick with him is Jalen James. The Spartans are still playing in the man and contesting a three-point basket on the way from Chris Smith was Anwas. Long rebound out to Rector. Tries to weave through the defense into the lane. and A reach-in foul will be called against the Spartans, which will bring us to our first timeout of the game. 10-7, the lead for the Aggies. 15-35 remaining in the first half. A break in the action. Here from the Event Center, you're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield Sports. Sports Network, this is Spartan Basketball. Now to courtside, here's Justin Allegri. Back inside the Event Center, a 10-7 start for the Aggies of Utah State. They have the lead, 15-35 remaining in the first half of play in the opening conference game here this evening. Mustafa Gerleraglu is the preferred All-State agent of San Jose State Athletics. When it comes to protecting your most valuable possessions, talk to a real person, not some website. Give All-State agent Mustafa Gerleraglu a call today and make sure you get the coverage you need at a price you can afford. Are you in good hands? Well, San Jose State started off the game down 10 to 7 at the first timeout. And the Spartans shooting overall 4 of 7 from the field. And the Aggies uh, have hit two threes in this first portion of the game. They have distributed the ball very well overall. Coming out of the timeout, it'll be Rector to inbound from the baseline right side. They'll bounce it in and right to the rim, blocked by Brandon Clark from behind. They tried to go in with Elston Jones, and Brandon Clark, freshly in the game, does what he does best, blocks a basketball. He's done that so well this year as a freshman for San Jose State. Now dribbling to his left as well as the Spartans move from left to right, trying to drive in, sealed off was Jalen James off the dribble, outlet pass along the perimeter to the right side for Schwartz. Schwartz dribbles to his left, off a screen, hands off, to Jalen James, behind the back dribble into the paint, leaves his feet, tries to bank one off the glass and down. It's no good and tipped out of play by Frank Rogers. So Jalen James trying to draw the defense in and then had no outlet pass and no option to get a pass away. Spartans come out in a 2-3 zone now. Guarding against the right side corner, Chris Smith rotates to his left, the left-hand dribble, gets it over to Rector on the wing, left side, and they'll give it back up to Rector once more. They exchange passes along the perimeter, touch pass into Jalen Moore on the, on the elbow right side, long bounce pass to Rector, up fake, spins it down low into the blocks, and it is Jones trying to post up, feeds it inside for the cutting in, Smith, he can't get it to go. Jones with the loose ball rebound, stripped to the basketball, Wellage tries to dive after it as it was tipped off of his hand and out of play. Well, that was just a scramble right there. And Elston Jones using a size 6'9", 265, and he just muscled his way to that rebound. And now Jones gets the inbounds to Rector on the right side angle. Rector surveying, looking, asking for a screen. Dribble handoff on the right side. Julian Perry into the game. Left-hand dribble. Crosses over to Jalen Moore on the right side angle. Moore to Smith. Smith to the corner for Perry's catch and shoot three. It's no good, but there was a foul before that shot was taken away from the basketball. And that foul goes against San Jose State's Jalen James. That's the Spartans' second team foul and the second to Jalen in a, just a couple of minutes that he's played in this game. Jalen has really struggled to find spurts where he has played good basketball here in the last few games. And I know there have been some instances where uh, Jalen has had that lingering effect on his ankle area. Ball tipped out of play, so an inbound will come from Utah State to the right side. Aggies have had a long possession here where they've had fresh shot clocks twice. Jalen Moore dribbles in for a mid-range jumper, and Jalen Moore rises and knocks down the 13-footer. Jalen Moore has six here in the first. It's a 12-7 Aggie lead. Spartans trying to answer. Here's Schwartz holding it above his head, looking for options, skips it up top for Brandon Clark in between the circles, back to Frank Rogers, up fake, puts it on the floor, drives in, tries to feather a path outside. Spartans think it was tipped off of an Aggie hand, but that was just an errant toss and maybe some contact that uh, forced Frank to toss that one up into the air, but no chances. That one sailed into the second row of seats and out of play. 
So the Aggie lead 12 to 7, 13 40 remaining in the first. And the Aggies have the ball moving right to left. Here comes Rector. Rector looking, tossing up top at the free throw line. They move a pass to Moore in the left side corner for three. It's good. And that's Grayson Moore. Grayson Moore, the senior, and the redshirt senior hitting the shot, six foot seven, 210. And now Isaac Thornton trying to battle against Rector, getting some separation with the left hand. Brandon Clark gets it on the perimeter, tries to drive in, leaves his feet. His little teardrop is no good. Gets it back right to the rim. He goes with a lay-in. Brandon Clark really has the length. Didn't have the touch on that first effort, but stayed with the play. Got that ball right back to him and finished the play, 15 to nine. Here's Moore to the right side corner, putting it on the floor as Perry and a reach in foul will be called against the Spartans as Perry was trying to gain entry to the paint. And that foul goes against San Jose State's Isaac Thornton, his first and the Spartans' third team foul of the half. 15 to nine, Brandon Clark will sit out for the time being and on comes Leon Bonna. Leon Bonna, the six foot 11 red shirt freshman. Bonna Garden against Elston Jones. That's a nice matchup. Jalen Moore receives in the front court and dribbles right back to Perkins. Back in the game. Perkins takes it left side, exchanges with Grayson Moore. Moore to the right and dribble handoff for Perry. Perry looking for options. Jalen Moore, ball fakes left, drives to his right side and gets it around to the other Moore. Moore shrugs off a defender, now bounces it to Evans. Evans in tight and a foul called. Excuse me, that was Elston Jones in tight, and Ryan Wellage in there, and also Leon Bonna, and Leon Bonna ultimately is called for the personal foul. That's what the Aggies can do. They can really move the basketball. I mentioned the assists they have per game, 15 and a half per game coming into this one. Third in the Mountain West Conference, but their ball movement is one of the top in the conference terms. How quick they can get it around. And not very many players put it on the floor when they pass it around, it develops a lot of good opportunities, and they don't mind shooting late in the shot clock. First free throw is a make for Grayson Moore. And the second one on its way, and also good. So five for Grayson Moore, and it's a 16-9, excuse me, 17-9 Utah State lead with 12.29 to play in the first. Spartans will make another substitution. Back in the game comes Schwartz. Out comes Bonna, and up comes Isaac Thornton. Thornton in between the circles, maneuvering to his left, motioning the offense, Princeton Anwas moves it into the right side wing, and a catch and shoot three from Schwartz is no good. Physical rebound from Frank Rogers, and he's fouled trying to go back up for the lay-in. And that was all done by Frank Rogers delaying his first shot. He knew the defense was behind him, got the ball, pump faked, and then went right back up, and that's where the contact came from. So Frank Rogers with a wise choice, and he's rewarded by a couple of shots from the free throw line. 17-9, 12-11 remaining in the first, and Frank Rogers at the line for two. His first rattles in. Frank Rogers, a 70% free throw shooter. Career high in assists in each of the last two games for Frank. Four assists where he's really started to see more players isolate him. And why not when you're the leading scorer on the team? He hits both of his free throws. Spartan showing a little token press here as the Aggies trying to break it across. They do to Perkins. Perkins holds the ball at the logo, and the Spartans will release back out into a zone. And Perkins rotates it left side. Moore touches it into the corner for Jalen Moore. Skip pass right side. Catching and hoisting up a three was Perry. It's no good. Rebound bobbled up into the air by Rogers, and he pulls it back down. Now out to Princeton Onwas. He wants to drive. Kicks it out to Schwartz. Errant pass. He collects it on the right side and then throws it away. Perkins intercepts the pass and steals the basketball. Crosses over, leaves it back on an angle, and that ball is stolen away. He tried to leave it back for the player trailing, Elston Jones, and... Ryan Wellage was right there to steal the ball back. So some more sloppy play in transition for both teams. Isaac Thornton with his back against the defender. Perkins moves it left. Wellage now for three. Pops up for straight on, and it's good. Ryan Wellage didn't need much room to shoot that basketball and knocked it in, and it's a 17-14 lead for the Aggies. Aggies working against that press, and it does take some time off the clock. It forces the Aggies to try and go into their offense a little bit quicker maybe. Now a 
Long pass to Moore in the corner again for three and another contested look that Grayson Moore buries. Grayson Moore has played in every game this year. He's only averaging 12 minutes per game and averaging two points per game, but he's already got eight in this one. Grayson Moore outscoring Jalen right now, Moore. And now off the long, long rebound, it's punched out of play by Grayson Moore. And we'll have a timeout on the floor. 20 to 14, San Jose State trailing the Aggies with 10.32 remaining in the first half. A break in the action from the event center. Opening night in the conference season for the Aggies and the Spartans. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield Sports. Back here inside the event center where it's a 20 to 14 lead for Utah State. The second time out, 10.32 remaining in the first half. This year, Southern Wine and Spirits has been involved in the development of San Jose State student athletes by training them with life skills that will better their lives and the lives of everyone around them. Southern Wine and Spirits, a proud supporter of Spartan Athletics. San Jose State shooting 5 of 15 from the field, 33%. Meanwhile, the Aggies, they're 7 of 13, 54% to start off this basketball game. Both teams rebounding the basketball, eight apiece for each. And in fact, San Jose State has had more offensive rebounds than the Aggies so far to this point. On the inbounds, and it's Frank Rogers trying to drive in to the paint, and Rogers is tripped up. And that'll be a foul against Lou Evans. Second personal foul for Evans. San Jose State, two of their last eight from the floor but have kept this game close, and a lob of the inbound into Isaac Thornton. Thornton off the dribble, looking for some help. Long skip pass to Wellage. Thought about the up fake, and instead he weaves it along the perimeter to the right side for Anwas. Anwas bounce pass, baseline right, trying to post up was Rogers. Fires a pass left side for Cody Schwartz, who pulls up from the elbow left side. Didn't really leave his feet all that much, and got a line drive shot down. Wasn't the prettiest from Cody Schwartz, but it'll work. 20 to 16 now, 10 minutes to play, and a free throw line jumper and an open look for Lou Evans, who hits that shot. And now Cody Schwartz in transition, catches on the perimeter, dribbles in along the baseline right side, off of the dribble on the short corner, and gets it back outside for Wellich. Touch pass to Schwartz again, who cut through the lane, and now back out for Anwa. Surveys, tries to drive, and kicks it out for Isaac Thornton. High arcing three, and it's good. Isaac Thornton doesn't shoot a lot of the three ball, Tries to choose his shots wisely from beyond the arc, and that one was a good look from Isaac, and he hits it to make it a three-point basketball game. And the Aggies try to respond with a three. It's no good. The rebound tip back is no good, and the Spartans pull it away. And then their missed opportunity on a rebound and a putback from the Aggies. And the Spartans down 22 to 19. Go back on the attack. It's Thornton. Taking it to the right, Anwaz catches two hands and fires it left side in between the circles for Anwaz uh, again, excuse me, Wellage. Now a bounce into Rogers, trying to lean his way into the lane and he throws it wildly out of play. It skips up on a bounce over the head of Anwaz and out of play. That was just a, a poor decision from Frank Rogers who didn't have positioning to get a pass away but tried to make something happen and he just wildly slung a pass away and a turnover for the Spartans. That's their fourth turnover of the first half. Utah State with two turnovers so far in the first. And the Aggies now from right to left they come. Taylor rotates it left side for Smith, guarded against by Schwartz, and off the dribble he comes back to Rector. Rector rotating it to his right, chest pass right side, high to catch was Perkins. Perkins into the corner again and again. It's Taylor, a long bounce pass, a beautiful feed in tight, trying to get to the rim was Smith. It's no good, tipped up into the air, a bobble for the basketball, loose on the floor, picked up underneath the basket, and trying to go in was Quinn Taylor, who was fouled. That's a red shirt freshman cleaning up the loose ball and making something happen to go to the free throw line. Nicely done by Quinn Taylor, who has played in every game this year. And he goes to the free throw line where he's 5 of 12 this season. Puts up the first, and it's a back iron miss. 22-19. Aggie lead. And they have led the whole way through this first half. 8.27 remaining in the first. And Taylor getting ready to put up his second free throw. Gary Williams Jr. comes into the game for the first time. The second is good. Quinn Taylor splits his free throws. 
And on comes Gary Williams, Jr. He moves it left side, dribble handoff to Schwartz. Schwartz looking for help. Coming around the screen was Anwas, throws the lob underneath the basket for Leon Bana. And behind him comes the swat away from Grayson Moore. Swatted it clean. Perkins now around the screen. Perkins to the right side corner. Anwas contests that pass and swats it out of the play. They were looking to Chris Smith in that corner. And the Aggies, the, their athleticism really, really is beneficial, particularly on plays like that. Leon Bana had his man beat, but the athleticism of Grayson Moore came right from behind, didn't give up on the play. And he's rewarded with a block, and now an opportunity for the Aggies to extend their lead. 23-19, Jalen Moore, chest pass right side, and it's Perkins between the leg dribble. Waiting for a screen, now they'll underneath to the corner for Smith. Smith underneath the basket, and weaves a pass outside to Perkins, who had to reach up high with a right hand. Now Rector for a very deep look at a three, no good, long rebound out to Anwaz. Anwaz across the timeline, left side stops at the wing. And gets it back up to Gary Williams Jr. Shane Rector does a nice job contesting players on the catch. Behind the back dribble from Williams, trying to lose his defender and moves it right side for Anwas. Anwas back up top for Schwartz. Schwartz looking, fires left side on the wing. 10 seconds to shoot for Williams Jr. Gary Williams Jr. tries to drive in, leaves his feet. Little floater off the glass, no good. And a physical rebound pulled away by the Aggies. Loose ball on the floor though. Rector gets it back and tips it out of play. And they're going to say it's off of Gary Williams Jr. last. And the Aggies will have the basketball when we return to the event center. 7-14 to play in the first half. 23-19, Aggies lead. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield Sports. 23-19, Aggie lead with 7-14 remaining in the first half. And the Aggies have really controlled the tempo of this game. 44% from the floor are the Aggies of Utah State. They're 8 of 18 from the field. They're beating... Led in scoring by Grayson Moore. You probably think that Jalen Moore would be the guy to this point, but Grayson Moore, who hit two threes in this first half and has been perfect from the free throw line on his only trip, has eight points to lead all scorers at this point in time. Isaac Thornton with five, Cody Schwartz with five for the Spartans, who are shooting uh, just under 37% from the field. Spartans have turned the ball over. Four times overall, the Aggies two, and now Smith has it as J.C. Hillsman comes into the game during the timeout for the first time. Bounce pass to Moore. Grayson Moore trying to go up against Leon Bonney. Gets to the rim. It was no good. Tipped up into the air. Leon Bonney pulls away the rebound and gets it out to Gary Williams, Jr. You know, a lot of missed lands from both sides in this game. Now Princeton Odwas driving in. There'll be a blocking foul called against Utah State. Underneath the rim, trying to glide into a defensive position was Chris Smith, called for the personal. That's the fifth team foul, his second personal foul. Spartans are in a scoring drought of just under three minutes. Gary Williams Jr. trying to inbound from baseline right side to change that. J.C. Hillsman jumps up to receive the pass. Gary Williams Jr. catches on the perimeter now to Princeton Anwas. Up fake, drives in on the baseline, goes in for a two-hand jam. Princeton Anwaz right down the baseline and to the rack. Maybe that'll get this crowd a little into it here this evening and the bench into it as well as in a response, it's Jalen Moore for three and good. Jalen Moore, big time shooter and now J.C. Hillsman tries to answer for three, it's off the mark and rebounded by Rector. Behind the back dribble, almost lost the basketball. Trying to poke it away was Anwas up top and driving in for a mid-range jumper. Pulling up was Perkins and it's good. Perkins with five, 28-21. Pace starting to pick up a little bit more. It's been a slow moving style of basketball from both teams. It's Princeton Anwas, left hand dribble. Cross the body pass to Williams. Gary Williams Jr. leaves his feet to Frank Rogers. Up top. On the right now, Williams backs up, 10 seconds to shoot, drives in, leaves his feet, gets a lot of contact, and a foul will be called. Offensive foul, Gary Williams Jr. Well, one of the things that Lou Evans does a tremendous job of is taking charges drawn. Leads the Aggies this season with now eight charges drawn this year. And he drew one right there. He had position, and it's tough to do sometimes. Just sacrifice your body, fall to the floor. That's exactly what he did. 
And so the Aggies back to it with a seven point lead on the right side. They'll move it across the perimeter. Rector, Rector into the corner for Jalen Moore. Holds the ball above his head. Rector gets it back with a high left hand. Dribbles to the right side. And in rhythm, Grayson Moore for three. No. Short off the rim. Rebound comes out to Cody Schwartz, who works it up the floor. Up to Wellage now. Wellage delays for a moment. Drives in. Tries the reverse lane. It would not go. Frank Rogers there with the rebound. Left hand put back. Good. Well, a lot of contact there and no call to Ryan Wellage's attempt, but Frank Rogers able to clean up the glass and get the basket 28 to 23. Here's Grayson Moore. Moore to the left side on the angle, holds it again, contesting with Schwartz. He, a firm pass in tight, ball on the floor, dribbled out, now to Rector, he falls to the court and gets somehow a pass from behind his back while falling down, scoops it into the right side wing for Darius Perkins three that is good. Outstanding work from Shane Rector to get that pass away for just even a shot, let alone a make. Here's Gary Williams Jr. Set his feet for a moment with an up fake and moves it to the right side off a screen. Ryan Wellage for three, it's strong. And a high rebound collected by Perkins. Perkins driving in, free throw line jumper. It's short, tipped out of play and off of who? And it will be called off of San Jose State. The officials are talking it over. But the Aggies will inbound very quickly. 31-23, Aggies move it into the paint with Jones out to Rector, sets his feet for three and buries it. And Coach Wojcik has seen enough, he wants a timeout. Shane Rector with six. And the largest lead of the game is right now for the Aggies, 34-23. It's a 6-0 run in 48 seconds. And we'll take a timeout from the event center. Four minutes to play in the first half. 34-23, Aggies leading. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield Sports. 34-23, San Jose State trailing the Aggies of Utah State here this evening in the conference opener. First half, four minutes to play. And San Jose State shooting 37.5%. They've really gone cold from the field in the uh, last couple of minutes. And meanwhile, Utah State is use that advantage to go on a 6-0 run in just 48 seconds and really extend this lead. Spartans had cut it to a just a single possession deficit, but the Aggies just to immediately push that to their largest lead of the half, 11 points. San Jose State has turned the ball over five times. Utah State has taken very good care of the basketball. Just two turnovers in the first half so far. They're 7 of 13 from the perimeter are the Aggies. Back in the game is Isaac Thornton for the Spartans, and Thornton takes it to the right side against Rector. Rector switches off with Perkins, and now into the corner for Ryan Wellage's three that's just flat out blocked right in front of him. Wellage could not get rid of that one quick enough as Elston Jones blocked that ball away, and the Aggies to the right side. Jalen Moore in the corner, open for three. It's good. Jalen Moore has 12, and the Aggies have a 14-2 run in under three minutes. Wow. Here comes Isaac Thornton stopping at the elbow, driving in and angling a shot up but not down as he's fouled. 9-0 run, 14-2 run. 9-0 run is in a minute and 12 seconds. The 14-2 run in two minutes and 43 seconds. Just a lapse here, closing out the half for the Spartans. And so here comes Isaac Thornton from the free throw line for two. That was the sixth team foul for the Aggies. And Isaac's first free throw is good. So here comes Brandon Clark back in the game. Ryan Wellage takes a seat. And Thornton, who is a 62% free throw shooter, back at it. And he misses his second. Jalen Moore rebounds and works it out the near side of the floor to Rector. Rector around a screen. Rogers to guard against him. And Grayson Moore guarding up. And the foul goes against Isaac Thornton away from the basketball. Isaac's trying to figure out what he did wrong, but a foul called against Thornton. And that is the seventh team foul, so going to the free throw line will be Jones. Elston Jones, 5 of 13 from the free throw line this year. And the lefty puts up his first, and it's good. So 3.15 remaining in the first half, a 38-24 Utah State lead. Second free throw, also good. And out come the Spartans with a new point guard on the floor, Jalen James. James pointing out 
a screen from Anwas, who receives beyond the arc on the left side. Back over to the guard in Jalen James, and he works a pass to the right side wing for Frank Rogers' three, and it's good. That was good ball movement from the Spartans, and Jalen James had a lot to do with that, getting that assist to Frank Rogers' three. That's a much-needed basket for the Spartans, who trail by 12. Now they need a stop. Grayson Moore. Moore takes it right side. Moore off of his dribble and weaves a pass back out to Jalen. Posting up inside is Jones. Jump hook with a left on the baseline. It's good. Wow, nice move from Elston Jones. Out come the Spartans. Setting a high screen for James was Rogers. Back to James to Anwas. Had an open look. Decided to pull it down and underneath the basket is Brandon Clark. He feeds a pass inside to Frank Rogers. He swatted away. Gets the ball back to Schwartz. Schwartz around the perimeter. Ten seconds to shoot. James backs away from the defense. Crossover dribble. Looking for help. Rogers now. Five seconds to shoot. Pulls up for a high arcing long two with a foot on the line. It's good. Boy, there was nothing easy about that shot from Frank Rogers. Had one man all over him, but Frank now with 11 points here in the first half, and it's 41-29, Aggies. Jalen Moore in rhythm, another high arcing three. It's short, trying to box out was Grayson Moore, almost stripped Jalen of the basketball. Jalen goes right to the rim, tries an angling lay-in off the glass. It was no good, and Jalen tried to push the envelope in terms of the tempo, didn't get a very good look at a shot. Now Jalen Moore with an up fake flyby from Anwas, pulls up for a mid-range 17-footer, and it's good. Jalen Moore starting to take over this basketball game. He's got 14 in the first half. 43-29, 1-17 to play in the first James, firm pass to the right side, and Schwartz fires away for three. It's no good. And on the rebound, Frank Rogers fouls Shane Rector. Rector maybe hit knees with Frank Rogers as Rector walking around very gingerly, not putting much weight on his left leg. So Rector still taking inventory. Man, he's just got a stinger, it looks like. And the official's making sure he's all right. Asked if he was okay to shoot free throws, and he goes to the free throw line. Rector's first is short, and Rector still grimacing as he gets back on defense. 43-29, one minute to play. Rogers at a moment, thought about the three, instead pulled it back down to Onwaz. 59 seconds left in the first, 15 seconds to shoot for the Spartans. Williams moving right side into the corner. Schwartz trying to spin against his defender. Grayson Moore fouled him. Grayson Moore was trying to seal off that baseline drive from Schwartz, and I think Schwartz may have recognized the positioning advantage that he had, spun against him, and then Grayson, beaten on the play, committed the foul. So Schwartz goes to the line, 63% free throw shooter. His first rattles up, around, and down. Wasn't the prettiest one, but... It'll count for Cody Schwartz. And it's a 13-point lead for the Aggies. Second free throw coming from Schwartz, and it's also good. J.C. Hillsman comes back in for Cody Schwartz, who departs with seven points here in the first half, and a 12-point game for the Aggies. 50 seconds to play in the first, 43-31. Utah State, Shane Rector up the floor across the timeline, takes it behind the back. He's double-teamed. By Clark on a reverse, Jones gets it back, and Jones gets it to uh, Moore. Moore trying to drive in and throw up a slam dunk, and a blocking foul is called very late. Coach Wojcik furious about the call, but that goes against Frank Rogers late on the play. And Coach Wojcik better be careful here. Coach Wojcik furious with the official. But now going to the free throw line would be Grayson Moore. I don't know if Coach Wojcik is more upset with the late whistle or the call itself. But there was a lot of contact under the basket. So Moore hits his free throw. He now has nine points. Second free throw is also good from Grayson Moore. And 30-second timeout called by Utah State. And we'll keep it right here. 45-31.
San Jose State trailing this basketball game. They'll have 35 seconds remaining in the first half. So the Spartans may not get the last shot of the half, but the Spartans are formulating a play. Try and go in the locker room and chip away at this deficit that the Aggies have pushed ahead to as large as 15 points at a moment in this first half, right now at 45 to 31. And San Jose State breaks the huddle and comes out on the floor. Spartans have Rogers, Hillsman, Onwas, Williams, and Brandon Clark, the trigger man for the Spartans. Aggies come out with Rector, Perry, Moore, Moore, and Jones. Williams, one-on-one -on -one with Rector. Williams accelerates across the timeline, and he is stripped of the ball, but fouled in doing so. Julian Perry. Julian Perry commits the foul as he left his feet, and that will be the eighth team foul, the first against Perry off the bench. And going to the line is Gary Williams, Jr. Gary Williams, Jr., a season high, 17 points against Life Pacific. Uh, Evo Basur will check into the game for Frank Rogers. And so, Gary Williams Jr. waiting to shoot his free throw. 50% from the field is Gary Williams Jr. in the last two games. Evo Basor with a rebound off the miss, on the floor, gets it away to Onwaz. And around the perimeter to Gary Williams Jr. for a corner three. It's no good, and it's a high rebound. Grabbed by the Aggies. Well, quick sequence there where the Spartans could have come away with some points, but they could not. And now Utah State can play for the final shot of the first half. Rector to the right side. Rector crosses over, leaves his feet, tries to get a floater up. It's no good. Tipped up into the air. Brandon Clark from 70 feet away, and it's well short. And the Spartans will go into the locker room down at halftime, 45-31. So San Jose State finds himself down by 14. It was as large as 15 in this first half, and San Jose State just did not shoot the ball well to end the first half. We'll take a break, have the halftime show coming up. We'll talk some scores from around the Mountain West Conference. We'll also review this first half of basketball in the opening night Mountain West Conference play between the Aggies and the Spartans. 45-31, halftime score. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield Sports.